Hi, everybody. All right, so we're continuing to work on the upper front canopy. This is what holds the main acrylic, I think it's acrylic, uh, canopy onto the top and also secures the top of the fuselage between the very front up top and the f cockpit. Well, basically just between the sub panel and the main panel. That's what I'm trying to say. So we're working on the substructure for the top. Um, it's not really terribly difficult. Uh, you just have to do it in very specific order as Vance tells you. This is one of those times when you're putting a bunch of very small pieces together and you have to do it in a very specific order or you won't be able to complete it later, right? So like, okay, put this tiny little piece here, put that tiny little piece there. Oh, you didn't put the there piece first? You put the there piece first and the this piece second? Yeah, you're, you're screwed. Now you have to take it all out. Uh, like I said, it's not terribly difficult. And unfortunately, it does mean having to use a rivet gun. So, you know, when you're dealing with small, delicate pieces that fit together like this, you'd really love to be able to use a squeezer. Right? Very convenient. Uh, but unfortunately, you can't. So that means having to use a rivet gun. And a lot of these are time are, are size 4 rivets, which are bigger rivets, which require more... Uh, impact energy to to set right as you're setting these rivets and you know minor pieces or small pieces heavy power equals denting so you gotta be careful about that and also small pieces means where the hell do I how do I get a bucking bar back there against this certain piece so uh, basically as you go on and you're building a plane for like two years and it's a metal plane uh, you start to recognize, hmm, this is where I screw up a lot, or I'm probably going to dent something. And for me, that's this. Uh, okay, so there, you see the two blue bars uh, that just got put across the bottom. So Van sends three of those, and they're made specifically for just this. So what they are is they're spacing bars. Uh, as I was talking about before, right, so basically it's this big, large, curved piece that we're making. And it has to be exact fitting. And the first time you put those bars on, Van says, you know, you may have to squeeze this together to make it fit, to make it actually go together. And they're and they're right. So the pieces that they make don't naturally want to fit into the shape that you see there, right? You got to kind of squeeze it a little bit. It wants to be flat, and you have to squeeze it round. If that makes sense. Uh, once you do that, though, and they're clicked together, obviously the idea is that you will be riveting them together, or you'll be riveting all of this up with those brackets in place. All right? With those brackets in place, with you riveting everything that way, it'll become set, right? And then you don't have to worry about it trying to flatten out. As you can see, we've got the uh, top skin clicked on. There's, so this is this chapter is the epitome of, okay, Clico everything together, okay, drill two holes, and I'll take everything apart. You're going to do that mm, at least twice, I believe. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's a bit of a pain. Uh, here you see me. Uh, we are drilling down the flat, drilling down, we are uh, shaping down the flange edges. So, you know how we were doing the ribs a couple of years ago for things like the uh, vertical stabilizer and stuff, and wherever there are ribs and flanges, you had to kind of shave them down as to not create little bubbles in the skin? That's what that is. So, along both of those hard-connected kind of internal ribs, you got to shave it. Uh, anyway, next video, we're going to continue working on this. So, see you soon.